All right, everybody, we're ready to get started with Coach. We'll jump in with questions with Shum, Mike Wilson, and Wes Rucker. Two things to, to start. Do you have any sort of update on Olivier? And then second, just how, how effective did you think that four-guard lineup was for you on the second half? Uh, Olivier, ankle injury is what I've been told. Uh, he's not sure. I, I what We didn't know. Maybe they've looked at it on tape. It is just his ankle. But he's, I think he seemed fine. But I haven't, other than the fact I heard he tweaked his ankle a little bit. Uh, I thought I thought that we were uh, the lineup was good and all year that's that's been a good lineup for us it really has been I thought Josiah did a great job uh, the tone for us both on the offensive and defensive end at the very start uh, you go back and look at uh, first half was played the way we expected it to be played and it was going that same way in the second half and Sakai hit uh, those two big threes they called timeout uh, he came to the bench and threw up. Uh, spit up on me and then got up and went to the trash can and threw up, came back and sat down and we said, you okay? He said, I'm good. Then he's out and scores a basket. So it was one of those days for him in the second half, he really responded well. But I, I thought it was a really a, a total team effort with everybody that contributed. It was really, uh, I thought our poise was, it was really good. We knew, we knew that they would, uh, pressure and do the things that they did first half. They, they ran it at us really hard. That's where they were scoring. And then we had through that one segment from the 16 to the 12, we had some major breakdowns on the defensive end where they scored eight quick points that we can't allow. Yeah, Rick, um, I kind of asked this after the last game, but it seems like continually you're, you're getting guys to, to do exactly what you're asking them to. Has anything changed in terms of the messaging to them? Or is this just a matter of, Getting late in the season, and guys starting to understand what you're saying. No, I, I think I think them understanding too what they need to do. I think that's what it gets down to. You know, we we harp on it, and keep harping on it, and we've always talked about it. some guy. Some guys take a little bit longer, and, and we still. I mean, I go back. I mean, Kennedy, Zakai, uh, Justin. Those guys. Uh, There's so many guys that have been young. So many other guys are in roles they've never been in, and so. Uh, but the fact is, you know, we talk about speed. We talk about we need to use it as much as we possibly can. And, and that uh, I've said it before, it's not just dribbling the ball before fast. It's, it's everything we do with much more speed and quickness. And we, we've been able to do that. that we're obviously, share, we've always, I think, shared the ball well. And when you shoot the ball as well as we did today, it, it makes it all look good. It really does. And uh, But all year long, I've told you guys, even when we've had nights when we struggled at other teams, have, go, have respected those guys. They, they've not, like, other than when we were in our non-league, my games, people really packed it back in there. Everybody else has guarded them when nights we've made it, nights we haven't. But I think we're taking better shots because I think we're moving the ball better, quicker. Guys are getting able to get set up to shoot the ball, and we're getting better looks at it because they're moving without the ball, getting in positions where they know they, know they can score and they know where their shots are coming from. And But uh, it's just – you know, we, we can, and we can still get better. We've got to get better. Rick, the difference offensively from the first half to the second half, was that just more made shots or was, or were there things sort of tempo wise or, or turning defense to offense? What, what changed in between the halves? No, I do think we were able to capitalize off some turnovers and get out and, and, and go with, it. you know, Zakai's two threes were, those are transition buckets where he, you know, early in the game, he was taking it way too deep and, and we keep telling him to, that we, we, we like that mid-range jump shot for both he and Kennedy. You know, we, we like those shots, but they get they still get there, try to force it just a little bit more than they need to. And uh, But it, it's a little bit tougher than people might think when we, when we come off the screens or come off handoffs. That rear view contest that people put on smaller guys can affect them a little bit. Uh, he got fouled on one. But if you're going to come off of it shooting, it's got to be a quick one bounce and pop up, <clears throat> two bounces. It allows the defender to get back into it. And and uh, so I think they're still trying to learn that part of it. We want those guys not to take it too deep and get in there and try to throw some some tough passes at those post guys something. But uh, Z early was trying to too much. He uh, Second half, I thought he let the game come to him more so. But uh, – no, we 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 went mostly with our flow game and and uh, both halves and and um, without Santi, I thought you know we went through a stretch there at the um, 
when was it? Uh, somewhere we we went seven, eight possessions where we you know missed layups or missed some shots and bogged down a little bit on offense. But it's certainly they have they have something to do with that too. I mean, it's just not us because we're not going to score every time. And and South Carolina is a good defensive team. And but um, overall, the second half, we we you know the shot making that changes everything. David Pascal, Rob Lewis, and Madison Blevins. Rick, when you think about Josiah, he's had stretches all three seasons where he's he's had really good patches and maybe patches where he doesn't play as well. What do you like about him right now? Is he playing as well as he has for you? And, and maybe what's he doing now that just with experience that he's gained? You know what he does, David. He he uh, he's a he's a he's a basketball player, and he's going to do whatever he has to do to help his team win. You know, Josiah has always been very. Be unselfish sometimes to a fault. I mean, he wants to. He wants to be a guy that he's a connector. You know, um, both on and off the court. Uh, I think that he, uh, you know, early in the year, he, as you guys know, he he struggled, but he spent so much time working on his shot. And 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 I think again, what I said earlier, the ball movement, playing at a quicker pace, getting set up is shoot the ball well. That he's shooting the ball in flow, but defensively. I mean, think about what he does. I, he, he, what he played thirty some minutes tonight, thirty five minutes, and uh, you know he's a you you have to have a guy like that today in college basketball where you can play him big or when we size down because of his size and the fact that he can rebound with big players. But it's his versatility, and uh, he's you know he, he's developed a really terrific basketball IQ. He, I mean, he he knows our scout report. He knows what's going on out there. He he directs a lot of what's happening, uh, especially on the defensive end. And today, I thought he really, you know, got it going on the offensive end early too. That that helped us get off to the start we did on that end. Coach uh, Zakai and Josiah put up big numbers, but Kennedy had ten assists, just one turnover. Is is it really starting to click for him? Do you think just running the team, what he needs to do? I, I can tell you this. I, I think it goes back in in where he's been better. Uh, is defensively. I think that when you get lost into the game defensively and you don't put so much pressure on yourself offensively, I think instincts take over. And uh, I think that's happening for him. One, uh, what what he, he he has grown tremendously the last three games, uh, the last three games, really, the, I'm trying to think, well, from the time we left Texas, I mean, he has been totally locked in defensively, really, really locked in. and. Uh, you know, he's uh, playing more direct lines to the basket, uh, moving the ball quicker, not, the ball's not sticking. His first – he gets the ball in the backcourt. His first two, three dribbles are much quicker, much faster paced. And, um, you know, when he gets going downhill, I like the fact that he goes in. He, he had a sh couple shots blocked tonight, but that's fine. That's part of the game. We need him to, we need him to, have, we need him to have that aggression. And when he, and he does that, Sakai plays with that aggression. Santi, Josiah, it just it just kind of filters to all the other guys. Coach, obviously a pretty solid all-around offensive game, shooting 52% from three, but just 14 points in the paint and only four at halftime. Are you concerned at all about finding some offensive balance? Right now, I'm not concerned about anything, you know. After, I mean, if you tell me if I could, if we could get, we can score 81 points every night. I take it any way we could get it. Any way, any way we could get it. Uh, I thought tonight again, John. We were we at, at one point in time we thought maybe we'd start trying to start playing inside out. But John said, Coach, I'd rather to stay in our flow. Let me move and roam. And they like being out there. It opens up the lane. And when you get going downhill uh, again, I think sometimes me included thinks that hey, we got to play with our back to the basket because that's I've been in the game a long time, and that's how it used to be. But there's a lot of different ways that you can attack, whether you you know catch it off the off the uh, lane area, you know, four or five feet. Olivier did it a couple of times a day. It doesn't necessarily have to mean a, it's going to be a hard back down and jump hook or turn around jump shot. As long as we will attack, have an attack area mindset, trying to get into the high percentage area that they will take it any way we can get it. Obviously, I wish we could shoot like this every night. and. Uh, but if not, we'll have to figure out how to manufacture points like you're talking about. It could be from the free throw line or go inside and 
So game to game, that's where those game adjustments come in. That you've got to, based on the flow of the game and what's happening, you, you have to be able to adjust. I do think we've got the ability to do that. And uh, but sometimes you just got to ride the wave with these guys. And tonight you could you could tell they were as a group they were really locked in with each other. Quick follow up too, coach. Um, only eight turnovers on the game as well. That's the least amount of turnovers since December 11th. How much do you think that that played a factor in the offensive flow that you're, you were just talking about? Well, I think it's tremendous. You know, I, I keep, I've been telling these guys the last couple of days, you know, we get leads and we throw more, we throw out too many lifelines and it's all because of turnovers. Uh, we, now we had we went three possessions where we were obviously working, working clock, but we turned ended up in ugly possession. Even when you're working the clock, you know, at the end that we had, you're trying to keep them in long possessions without fouling them. And then on this side, you still gonna you want to shoot the ball. And we were just taking it too deep into the clock and and uh we'll learn from that too. But uh uh I lost my train of thought. What did you ask me? I was asking about the eight turnovers. Well, the <laughs> The, the, the guys would tell you that the one thing that, that they want to get me riled up is turnovers. They would tell you that. That's I, it's always been something I've had a hard. I, I just don't think you. I just don't think you have to turn the ball over like the one when I took Z out of hat. We t I've, I've talked about that for three days. If you get sloppy passing it guard to guard across out front, they're good. They're active. There's no defense for that. And games when we've really struggled, those are the kind of plays that have, have hurt it hurt us a lot. And uh, we, uh, when you're playing with three guards, four guards, like we did, you expect them to handle the basketball. And uh, we did tonight. Last two for Coach Grant, then Ethan. Rick, do you think it's finally clicked with Josiah that this is the aggression he has to play with on the offensive end and this is the score that he can be? You know, Grant, I hope so. I really do because, you know, Joe, Joe's has been, he's been a great Tennessee volunteer. I'm telling you. He, I mean, he's he, everything we want this program to be. You know, we kind of felt, when I believe the last person that was uh, and uh, Lamonte that Joe would be the guy that would carry on what, what what we want a program to be about and he's done he's done it with a lot of new guys having to come in and certainly Santi coming in when he did John's been a part of it uh, but Joe Joe's been a, a real stabilizer for our, for a lot with our program not just what we see out here today but I mean, I go back to recruiting, everything. I mean, he's he's just been, a, like I said, a great Tennessee volunteer. Josiah has been shooting 39% from three in the last five games. How important has that been to getting the offense going at times? Well, you said Zakai. Uh, Josiah. Well, yeah, Josiah, Josiah. Well, Josiah didn't shoot the ball. I mean, I think a lot of people early in the year, Questioned him, uh, and I and I told him early. I said, I think you're rushing it. I think that you've gotten off to a tough start. You're, you I said, just play with the flow. You don't, you don't have to rush. Just shoot the shot. You practice. If you do that, we know you're good shooters. We can show you all the numbers you need to see. We, we, you know, I go back to the very first scrimmage this year against Davis, and I think Joe hit five threes in that scrimmage. And um, at times we've shown him that it's just rhythm. And you know, when he was out a little bit, I, I think. Like anybody, you know, when you work as hard as you put the time in that a, that a guy like he does, you come back and you want it quick. And sometimes you can press. And I think he was pressing, but again, but he is playing with a, a different level of speed right now and concentration. And like I said, when he shoots it, I think we all think it's going in. Thank you, Coach. Right. Thank you, guys. Have the players here in just a moment.